So Nick is put on blast again by her best friend Melange. Video footage dropped, possibly Nick cheated on Dwayne. Dwayne was also brought into the situation. It's just a lot of mess. I'm gonna break it all down for y'all because this does stem from the Basketball Wives Orlando show. Now on the Basketball Wives Orlando show, Mackenzie, who is Dwayne's baby mama, who everybody thought Nick was originally gonna be beefing with, Mackenzie is dating a basketball player named Rashad. Now Rashad's baby mama, Danny, is on the show and Danny is beefing with Mackenzie and Nick. Because, you know, Mackenzie and Neek are friends on the show now. And they are beefing with Danny. Now, Danny is also friends with Melange. And Melange is supposed to be Neek's best friend. But Melange got called out on the show by Morgan for pillow talking with all the girls and telling Neek's business that happened with Dwayne privately. And now Melange is looking like a bad friend because Danny confirmed that she is telling Neek's business. Now, Danny said on the show that Melange told her that Dwayne bought Neek a bag that she didn't like for her birthday. And she was very upset. Now, according to Danny, she said that she was keeping it cute because she knew more than that. Now, Nick and Dwayne did speak about this situation with the bag on their podcast. Like Nothing's a, wrong with him for a bag. It just wasn't my style. And I feel like he just wanted to give me a lot of stuff. Like, he was geeked about it. He was happy. Like, and he had got me everything that I asked for, but it was just like the extra stuff. But I feel like it's like communication. I just had to tell you and be like, oh, this is not what I like. So my next birthday came around. It was like, okay, he gonna give me whatever I want. I just gotta be vocal and tell him what I want. Kiana J recently had Neek in her video and Neek said this. Who's the weakest link on Basketball Wives? Ooh, Ooh. um, Danny. Fuck you, oh Danny. Oh! Extremely delusional. And, um, Danny. I will make, yeah, Dem okay. Dem we'll, Dem we'll go there, Danielle. <laughs> We'll go so Danny, who Nick called out, responded, and here's what she had to say. Damn lame. You don't even sound convinced saying that. You don't even sound convinced. You know good and damn well that I am not the weakest link on the show, babe. I'm a main cast member just like you. With all your 3.8 million followers, how is it that somebody like you is cut out of half of the scenes? How is it that somebody like you is cut out of half of the episodes? How is it that somebody like you ain't got a storyline? Let's talk about it. And at the fans clock show, they said, you talking about fuck Danny, but not Mulan for actually telling your business. Exactly. But I know why you don't say Mulan. I know why you stay friends with her. Because you know, and I know, and we all know, and the cast knows that if you stop being cool with her, all of the truth about Nick will come out. The truth about you coming out that bathroom with that girl's boyfriend will come out. The truth about what you be doing in Houston and Atlanta gonna come out. You already know what's up. So I'm not even sure why you trying to play. Neek comment, she said, that child support money must have ran out. The way you going hard in these videos, we know you looking for the next come up, Danny. My 3.8 followers is the reason why I got paid four times what you got paid. Why you had the slave and do all that dirty work for chump change. And to clear the air, I wasn't cut out of scenes. I had other things to do because unlike you, basketball wives isn't my only source of income. So I said what I said, B, cry about it. Without really violating your ass. So it's actually hilarious that somebody like you would keep bringing me up. YouTube comments off. I wonder why. Because you tired of people clocking your tea about why you so dumb, delusional, and slow, and why you keep running around the country, running around the United States, running around the world with the girl that done played in your goddamn face. But I know why you do it. Because she's your best eater. To talk about where somebody man at baby where your man at from what i heard not with you from what i see y'all ain't following each other so just like i said on the show baby all of y'all are one cheat away from having a divorce all of y'all are one mistake away from being single all of y'all are one misunderstanding away from being just like me and a few of the other ladies on the show so let's clock that t you ain't with your man either, baby. You single just like the rest of us. Neek mom said, correction, Dwayne deactivated his page. They are still together. Okay, bye. Ooh -wee. And I also love when you talk about money. You know why? Because your friend also spilled the tea on that you only made 3500 per episode. And she also talked about how you were crying, boo-hoo, because you had to live in that weak townhouse and everybody else had houses. And that housing stipend, yeah. It wasn't hidden for shit. So, yeah. And let's stop talking about Danielle getting child support because everybody on the cast knows I don't get child support. Thank you. 
That man sends what he can per month. I don't ask him for nothing. So let's be very clear, baby. You were cut out of scenes. Like I said, you only had like one or two hostings the entire season, babe. We shot for several months. Stop the nonsense. So yeah, let me tell you that. And I will let you know very uh, well that we didn't make the same, baby. Now, this is the part where everything go left and things get leaked. Because yesterday, Danny went live and said that Melange confirmed that Neek did sleep with Jalen on her birthday in the bathroom. Remember, I reported earlier this year that Neek was being called out by Melange's friend for sleeping with Jaden Green. And she showed that Neek actually left with Jaden Green in the Uber. But Neek said in her live that she was on the phone with Dwayne the whole time while she was in the Uber. But Danny in her live is saying something different because Melange showed her receipts. So now Neek is upset, so she texts Melange. Nick said you told Danny and then it was scratched out and then Melange responded please stop texting my phone with the BS I'm very happy with my life and Nick said bro that's so weird and the fact you tell me to stop texting your phone is crazy but bet so after that text message Nick texts Melange felt some type of way so she comments she says her boyfriend buying her a Tefla bag is not telling her business it's on YouTube matter of fact I'm the worst kind of friend but she was in the bathroom with my boyfriend on my birthday and left in an Uber with him while I was passed out drunk yeah okay now when I finally talk about it I don't want the apology Apologies. Danny captioned the screenshot. She said, girl, you should have been talking. You let that be play you and rob you of a storyline to save her little image. You're bad. Melange tweet, she said, I'm tired of trying to protect someone while they play victim and believe other people lies. You were in the bathroom with my boyfriend on my birthday in my house while I was passed out drunk. I didn't speak on it because I believed you in the moment, but you still have yet to show me any proof. No ring camera, no call log, nothing. But you want to believe someone who doesn't even like you? Since I'm such a bad friend, then why are you still friends with me? Because you didn't want nobody to see these this is at 616 it's a video of us getting in the uber that somebody tried to record it's a video of us getting in the uber i got my call log right here while i'm on the phone with Dwayne. oh wait, the video says 614 614 on the video i got the video me and Dwayne on the phone at 618 like, I called my man. Me and my man were on the phone. My man know that I got home. What the fuck y'all think we went home together? Milan comments, she said, me and him parted ways after the situation. I took me back as a friend after she cried to me and told me she didn't do anything. But for her to keep questioning my loyalty, never claiming up that she was wrong in the first place, and then believing I would ever call her ugly after we've been intimate before. I'm tired of pretending like this didn't happen. When someone repeatedly question your loyalty over he say, she say, when they know they've done you wrong and continue to allow forced narratives to continue on, when in all reality you done nothing but protect them you reached a breaking point simple not only that why the f you felt the need to say y'all bunk cookies before that was so effing random and unnecessary like you couldn't wait to tell the world i hope neek never talks to you again because she really think i would call her the ugly friend and question me about it that's a slap in the face but if she was truly your friend and you loved her like you said you did why make the matter public if the issue was private where did she blast you publicly melange responded she wasn't truly my friend it's given that melange feels some type of way and she's now put in the hot seat so now she's calling neek who's supposed to be her best friend out because now viewers are looking at her as a bad person y'all leave y'all comments down below from the footage what do y'all believe do y'all think melange is telling the truth or do y'all think neek is telling the truth let me know we're mad at oh, i know you peep you said the thing i can do is peep and report that the fuck no and but... i don't think i can just prevent because you didn't prevent shit. Like, what the fuck? You didn't prevent anything. Mm. You disappeared with. Oh, Did you I lost. Disappear? You 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 lost her with. I didn't fuck. At the moment I lost, I didn't know what the f was going. On. Like you, you think I knew what the f was going on? You said you peeped it. You act like you were so fucking upset with me, but I clearly, I clearly didn't know what the. F on but you said you peeped it. You said I you peeped peep, it. But I didn't so it was I all didn't cool when everybody. Was, it was all cool when everybody was drinking. But then, oh, but when they I disappeared. Have idol shit, when they I disappeared. Can, if I have idol shit, I can control shit. But if I don't have idol shit, I can control anything. Okay. 